Welcome Aquarius. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that you may need guidance with over that time using the Druid Wisdom cards, the Mystical Journey Oracle and the Light Seer's Tarot. Let's get into it. We are starting with Druid Wisdom, which have been amazing. I got these cards a couple of years ago and I never connected with them and for some reason this round I just felt drawn to them and yeah they're pretty cool anyway okay so Aquarius we've got pagan wisdom come out we've got something else that I do not know what it is yet because it's upside down but one more card no just one we'll put those back and we'll get those in a minute okay pagan wisdom we shall begin with pagan wisdom something bring something into focus i feel like for you okay so pagan wisdom remember the lesson of nature not everything needs to be rushed a gift comes in waiting for a loving tender touch oh carry rose quartz for respect and love oh i like that I just wonder if some of you haven't been feeling very respected lately, to be honest. Maybe. Anyway, what's this one? Mm. Yeah, see, again, there's something's not clear for you, Aquarius. This is called, oh, some of the words are really hard to pronounce, by the way, Bardic Hymns. Bardic Hymns. Like the hermit walking his peaceful, silent road. The secrets of healing are found among ancient holy groves. Interesting. Meditate on the Hermit Tarot card for inner wisdom. If you don't have any tarot cards, you could always just print out a um, the Hermit card and have that on you okay um i do feel like for some of you there could be some form of ancient healing that you haven't come across or discovered yet that um, may very well be of service to you aquarius okay my nose is all itchy i get my nose gets so itchy sometimes during these readings anyway okay one more card here we go Mother of Tears. Wow, this is powerful. Mm, I feel like some of you just need nurturing, like a big hug from a mum type energy, you know? Um, yeah, sometimes the best of life opens only once we've let ourselves shed countless tears. So let's go and breathe slowly but surely. Black Tourmaline will grant you protection and support. Carry one in secret and place one at your front door. Interesting. Okay. Aquarius, let's see what else we've got for you. Life review, wow, this is big, something real big is going on for you, right? Life review, looking back at your life, I don't even feel like it's just this lifetime though, I feel like it's many lifetimes, um, and I'm seeing this image here of you, um, in each of your lifetimes, and I don't know if any of you know about your past lives or not, um, but I'm seeing this image of you in each lifetime being knocked down and rising up again. Um, I feel as though there's this, now this um, pathway that you are about to enter onto that is going to bring you all the blessings. It's sort of like there's making up for everything 
in this entire not even this life cycle all of the life cycles to be honest with you and what's really jumping out at me here is this tree and it reminds me of blood it's sort of like this represents a whole lifetime you know it's almost like some of you just couldn't even get a break to be able to grow that tree, tree green, you know, like it was just completely um, taken from you. You couldn't even, you couldn't even attempt to do that, you know. Um, and then I feel like now you're about to enter onto this path, which is lush and green and nurturing and healthy. Which is really, really nice. Really nice. And it's sort of like there's just this energy of wanting to just... It's like there's this actual energy around you that is wanting to scoop you up and just love you. Love you in a way that you've never been loved before. Like in a real pure way, in an unconditional way. You know, tell me more about life review for Aquarius, please. It's upside down. That's okay. We'll get the second one and then there it is. No, nope, that's two. I only want one. So we'll have a look at this, the page of wands. Look at this. Oh, yes, I love this energy here, Aquarius. Okay, so I wonder if this, yes, this is what you're about to step into and you're about to um, maybe discover for some of you a new passion that you are going to is going to consume you and it's gonna cause you to feel in a way you've never felt before okay um whatever that is whatever it is um and yeah wow this is neat oh i love this energy here aquarius next too many cards one more card for life review for aquarius please one more card there it is thank you yeah Four of Cups. You're going to actually turn around and see this cup. Okay, for some of you, this could even be a new relationship. You know, and this could be a review of all your past relationships and really, um, you know, releasing those final bits that um, have, have sort of been not holding you back because I feel like the healing is necessary. Um, but it sort of stopped you from entering onto this path here, yeah? And um, and as soon as you take that first step, you're going to be like, yes, I can do this, you know? And there's this there's this inspiration um, and um, excitement and, and it's like it's like a whole new life. And I was saying to one of the signs, but I can't remember who it was now, unfortunately, um, but I was saying to them about how we, you know, go through all our lives, right? Oh, yeah, and this makes sense with this. Okay, we go through all our, our lifetimes and we have a lesson in each lifetime to learn. And it's like the energies are such now that we are actually going through more than one lifetime in a lifetime so it's like having it's it's sort of like having four cycles in one lifetime but I feel like for some of you Aquarius you've actually had already six lifetimes in one lifetime and you're about to enter the seventh and the seventh is incredible it's incredible and and you totally deserve that because you know um that tree still jumps out at me of um, that blood tree, you know, um, there's something about that. I just wonder if this is also through bloodlines. Um, so what is about to come for you, Aquarius? Um, and, and this could also be to do with the healing that you've been doing. Okay, I'm just bringing these cards forward here because I feel like this mother's tears is jumping out at me. I feel like um, this is intergenerational healing that you are also doing and have been doing. Okay, sometimes 
The best life opens only once we've let ourselves shed countless tears. So let go and breathe slowly but surely. You know, and this is it, right? You don't have to rush. You don't have to rush to it. And I know you might want to because wouldn't you? I would. <laughs> yeah, but everything all in the right time. Yeah, because if you try and rush it, you're not going to get there anyway because there's still stuff that needs to be sorted. So um, it's only going to cause impatience, I feel, and frustration. So yeah, next card for Aquarius, please. Manifestation. Oh, this is neat. This is incredible. I love this. There's this, there's something inside of you. There is something inside of you that is so wise. It's like, I'm sort of seeing um, the hermit here inside of you. And um, and it's it's like you are the hermit in disguise, in a sense, you know. There's, um, and, and, and through this releasing, you will be able to vibrate out that energy and, um, and create energy anything you want to create because I've also now been shown the magician and um, you are the, it, like I, I can't even tell you Aquarius this is something inside this there's, there's something about you that is uh, is actually there is no word that describes you you are that impeccably incredible that's I can't express it any other way yeah there's just boy oh boy okay two cards for manifestation for Aquarius please I feel like you don't, I feel like you know this about you, but you don't really um, put enough weight on it. Oh, look, see, look at my talent coming out again. Don't you just love that? Like, that's just, I've been doing that. Um, Eight of Pentacles, yeah, you've been working, you've been working hard. You've been working hard on stuff. You've been sitting through everything, doing what you need to do. And, um, and the result of that is... <laughs> Like, wow, like, look at, I don't know if you can see this or not, but she's sitting here looking at this candle, like, you know, your abil ability to be able to play around with um, energy is is something quite um, fantastic. It really is. This power that you have inside of you, man. Um, I don't know if I like how that came out. I don't. Um too many cards yeah there's just i don't know there's this kind of sassiness about you you know like and, and you do it so easily and so um naturally um yeah five of cups look um see this sort of it's so interesting because i haven't seen this five of cups like this before this is you putting your energy into growing something this is you um actually sort of creating <sighs> recreating something that you've lost but you would still like to experience taking your time to do that um and again, this is very similar here to this energy of the four of cups of there's been, I wonder if it's either three relationships or three instances in your life which have impacted you um, hugely, which is an understatement. Um, but you are focusing on them and there's this, by doing that, this allows you to um, create this whole new experience for yourself that you, you're you conjuring up that it's actually going to be even more amazing than what even you could imagine. 
Okay, so next card for Aquarius here, please. Next card for Aquarius. There you go. <laughs> letting go. Letting go here, Aquarius. Wow. This is more than letting go. This is really surrendering here yeah? because your boat is here waiting to carry you. And I don't even feel like this is something, I mean, for some of you, it could be that it's like, yes, this is something that you need to work more on is letting go of things, but it's more the surrendering. Um, and I feel like the surrendering is going to allow you to um, rise up above um, whatever the emotions are that are pulling you down, okay? It's going to allow you to be able to travel this journey um, without it impacting you in a negative way. Like the, there's not going to be anything that will be able to um, get in your way type of thing. There's nothing that is going to be able to drag you down because you've risen up so much right and we have got the ten of cups here like you can't get any better than that like this is this is you this is your happily ever after wow this is what you are leading to oh my gosh this is amazing and we've got temperance here as well you know this is you doing this this is this is what you're here for this is what you're here to experience and um, and even if it is the case, Aquarius, that you haven't experienced this yet in this lifetime, um, that that you you have the ability to experience it. Okay, it is right there for you. Okay, um, I want to just have a look at the bard. It comes again, like the hermit walking his peaceful, silent road. The secrets of healing are found among ancient holy groves. Yeah, and this is what this is like. It's like it's in a grove and you kind of come across it and it gives you the healing that you need in order to get to this, right? To find the balance in your life that you need. You know, really balancing out that light and that dark type of thing. And this is what I feel like you've been working on here, Aquarius. Okay, so... Next card for Aquarius, please. Next card for Aquarius. Oh, I almost balanced on my arm again, but not quite. Rebirth. Rebirth. Aquarius. Oh, this is so cool. This is such a cool energy. And this is, these messages are awesome. Um, this is you being shattered absolutely shattered to smithereens and what's been happening is you've been piecing yourself together bit by bit and you haven't just been piecing yourself together though Aquarius you've been sealing those pieces with gold you are more valuable now than you ever have been and that's not to say that you weren't valuable before you always have been but you're even more so now and this last piece here is yet to go, but you know that. And you know, I feel like you know what you're doing. You know what you're about. But this, this last piece of healing, it's sort of like, I feel like for some of you, you're just mixing up a little bit more gold. You've got the piece there, you know, um, and you've been doing the work. Um, boy, oh boy, you are going to rise up, man. You are going to rise up. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about rebirth for Aquarius, please. Oh, I can't wait to like you've got to let us know. You've got to comment down below and say what actually happens. Because well, that will be something to write a book about, I reckon, or make a movie about. Oh, we've got three cards come out. The way they've come out, I need to take them all. <gasps> surprise, surprise, the hermit. Wow. Uh, why am I not surprised but I'm like amazed <laughs> um, this is totally you <sighs> gather myself um, honestly it's like an honour being in your presence right now I have to say 
what an honor to be doing this reading for you because like seriously you are beyond amazing so hats off to you and you're making me emotional because I just feel like wow I want to bow down to you because you are there's not even a word there's not even the word Aquarius for you because you are more than amazing and, and incredible but anyhow let me move on it's like there's this path laid here right that you could walk along but because you are who you are and because of the light you hold within you're able to levitate up above that heart path and travel that way right that's that's what you have within you this is this wisdom right um Um, I feel like some of you are taking a bit of time though right now to reflect you know and this is very well what this probably this life review is about reflecting back you know it could be that some of you are sitting through everything that you've been through and looking for the pieces that still need to be worked on and healed and um and just kind of like reflecting in a sense right um now which card was next this one here uh the page of cards yeah oh yeah this is neat see and so this is you stepping into this whole new energy here because we've got the page of wands and the page of cups this is you relearning relearning stuff right relearning how to um ignite this passion within you how how, it, how that actually works what that actually looks like working out what goes in your cup and what doesn't working out how to use the wand you know you you're figuring it all out and you're having fun in the meantime having fun in the meantime but don't lose sight of this wisdom that you have inside of you we have the justice card as well beautiful getting this balance here yeah, see that again, this is this reflection, right? Seeing who you were then and who you are now and having a look at that um, and, and you're able to actually see how far you have come. Wow, this is cool, man. Oh, yeah, I really love this. And, and, and sort of doing that in a sense with this real this playfulness like i said before you know this playfulness yet wisdom that's no other word i can use for it <laughs> um yeah next card for aquarius please this is such a cool reading here we've got eternal self eternal self and um this i feel like let me just put these cards over here because they're slip, slipping and sliding all over the joint. Um, eternal self. Let me just get this. Oh, yes. Okay. So when I was talking before about different lifetimes that you've been through prior to this one, um, I feel as though through doing all this work that you've done in this lifetime and going through all these cycles in this one lifetime allows you to um, combine all lifetimes and experiences that you've had through your entire existence, which is not just this lifetime. It's the entire existence of your soul because your soul existed before it came into this body that you're in. And when this body is done, your soul will still exist. And it's, it's coming into form, moving through form and out of form, right? Coming into form, into this body, this is the form, moving throughout your life, in this form but your soul is the truth of who you are and then when your body is no longer able to serve you you move out of the body but you still exist your soul is eternal this is your eternal self so i just feel like for some of you it might pay for you to 
really be aware one of your dreams be noting those down anything that kind of pops out of the blue into your mind start writing stuff down because I feel like you're receiving messages you may not realize it you're you're also receiving downloads okay so there'll be days where you just can't even move go with it okay and just understand that there's downloads that you're receiving okay and it could also be the healing that you need all right you may need that relaxation and that rest and your body is sort of telling you what's what right now okay so to prepare you for this next leg of the journey and we have the emperor here wow wow that's so funny because the emperor did pop in my mind before um, when I was talking about the hermit, but yeah, I wish I'd said it now. Dang. But anywho, um, yeah, see, this is this is you, like the emperor, like he's the he has his um his kingdom, right? I don't know if kingdom's the right word, but anyway, he um he's he's even above all the kings. You know, he he knows Look at him, he's holding the, the chess piece, which is the king. Yeah? He's so in control of everything. Like, he's he's got it down packed. He knows what's what. He knows what he's up to. And I really feel like this is the need for you to tap into this eternal self, your higher self, because your higher self is this energy. Yeah? This is the energy that you have to tap into. So if there's ever a time that you're unsure or you're not quite, you don't really know what to do, this is what you need to tap into here, Aquarius, okay? Um, because this is the truth of who you are, yeah? I think it's really time just to start seeing yourself as um, the emperor that you are, regardless of your gender, start seeing yourself as that energy, okay, as the eternal self, um, and embrace that. And, and I have a feeling that that's going to help with any healing that you need to do. One more card. for yeah, There it is. There it is. Three of Wands. The Three of Wands here. And, and um, see, this Three of Wands here, it's so funny with this card because I know it's, it's the three, right? But I feel like this person here stands in this knowingness she stands in the knowingness of who she is of her eternal self there's no doubt she knows which direction she's going in she knows you know what it is that she wants to achieve she has no doubt about that she's sure she knows how she's going to travel that may change along the way and she's cool with that you know, she understands that different terrains may require different vehicles. Okay, and um, yeah, this is absolutely a great card to come out for that, actually. Shadow work. Wow. Shadow work. Yep. Still working through the shadow self, right? The shadow self will always remain. It will always be. Like the temperance here. You can't have one without the other. It's getting this into balance, okay? Getting that shadow work, in, shadow work into balance and remembering Aquarius. In your shadow, it's not all bad stuff. In your shadow is hidden talents and gifts that you don't know you have. There's lots of good stuff in the shadows too, you know? It's not all bad. Okay, so tell me more about shadow work for Aquarius, please. It's like the third, of, it's not the third of the deck, what an over-exaggeration. <laughs> it's like an eighth of the deck, but <laughs> too many cards regardless. Okay, so shadow work for Aquarius, please. Shadow work. For... Nah, too many cards again. Shadow work for Aquarius. Two cards, please. There we go. First card. One more card for shadow work. For there we go. Thank you. Feel like I was at an auction then, running an auction. Oh, I love this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. 
Um, so first up we have the Hierophant. I love his energy. Look at him, he's sitting here. Okay, so for some of you, this staircase may seem incredibly daunting. This life review might seem incredibly daunting to you. It's like, oh my gosh, there's this staircase I have to climb. How am I ever going to achieve this? It's so far away, you can't even see the end of it, right? And um, and I feel as though um, for you, this again is tapping into this eternal self and understanding who you are. This this hermit here, right? This this wise one within, the emperor, you know, standing in your power, knowing who you are and how you're going to travel. Because the Hierophant, he sits at the bottom of the stairwell and he goes, I'm just going to levitate there. He's going to shine his light and he's going to levitate up to this top of those stairs. Because he's, he, you know, as soon as this light shines right, it's the same. It's the same as up here. What this all, all, all he needs to do is to shine his light and he will gravitate to that which is the same as him. He will gravitate to which vibrates the same as him. Yeah? And this is... I think what you need to understand about yourself. You have that ability to put that out there. Okay. And so if there are things coming into your life that, um, you know, don't, um, don't reflect respect and love, then there's this work that needs to be done in order for you to start seeing who you truly are so that anything less than that is repelled. Okay, um, and we have the Six of Cups here. This really is reflecting, again, back on what is going back to the innocence of who you are, to the truth of who you are, and where you truly came from. Okay, because you know that you are walking towards this, and this is what you truly deserve, Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you, Aquarius. Take care of your beautiful self, your amazing self, your incredible self. Take care of you. Okay, Aquarius, see you. Bye-bye.